Hey there, so here's the clutch. It's all taken apart. So this is this part here is the sort of the base plate and there's a bunch of washers and and spacers but this piece will go onto the bottom there's a little notch right here that has a matching little notch on the inside and uh, it's probably hard to see but it's right in here anyway so you just put that on there then there's a few washers and spacers and I'll leave these all together uh, there's also there's also a little bearing in here that turns so that this can rest on the clutch. You can sort of take the bearing out, but I don't really want to leave it. It's working good. And then all these spacers, try to leave them in order. And then on top of that, uh, there's this guy. So there's the three balls. I'll set them aside for now, but this is sort of where the where the magic happens and that this goes in and out. There's a little felt uh, inside there that sort of lubricates it, but it's there and it's all it's working good. And it spins nice. If it was out it'd spin nice there. See that's spinning pretty nice there. So uh, when it's when it's out like this it actually will cover all those spaces and get tight and then obviously when it it just floats up and down like so. So that's that. And then on top of that, these uh, there's all the little spring clips. There's a little clip here like that. Those go in there. Springs go on top. Trunk, trunk. And we're all sitting on this fly or on this uh, crankshaft. But these will go probably won't stay because this isn't a level isn't level yeah that guy's not gonna stay oh maybe he will so this guy goes on top of there just on these bolts and onto those balls and then the, as the balls um, as it spins faster the balls push in, push out on the the inside of these, it's kind of sloped and so the balls will push out and as they push out, they push this farther away from that which actually just pushes this in so then your shaft will come through here uh, it might be hard to tell, oh, I lost one of the balls but it's a six, six spline shaft and then this will go on top uh, actually goes the other way. This will go like that. You screw this on to your, the top and then bend a couple of those little tabs up. And then lastly, this part. And we're not going to be able to do it because it's all separated out. But uh, lastly, so if you're to put it closer, you do like that. Then this piece goes on, and I'll push down, and then you put the little acorn nuts, they'll, they'll bolt onto those. But we just can't do it because this is like that. But if we were to take that off, just put the spacers back in order. These are just little, little tiny spacers, little metal ones. But yeah, if, if this was on, take these balls out here. These will go on here, and uh, I would probably try to lube everything a little bit before putting it in and plus you got to fill it with oil anyway and then this guy and actually while well, I got this off this this washer up here it's still fully round and fully there so that's good and it was sealing in oil when I took it off 
So I had to pour out a bunch of oil. And you just put this head back on there. And you just have to carefully get it around. And then the acorn nuts, uh, I've got them up there. And the plug I've got up there too, and you just screw those on.